Hey guys, let me share how I created this hummingbird. I created a few more of these compositions and it's quite easy, so let's dive in. Let's start by deleting everything, then add a path. We can add some depth and switch to profile, then sharpen the edges from here. We can switch to edit mode and start playing with the vertices to form the body. Make sure you're using the views, like a left, right, front and so on, as this will make the things easier in the long run. We can min tilt some of the vertices, the shortcut is Ctrl T. I always like to remember and work with the shortcuts, as this can save a lot of time. make this thing work, we need to copy the path location and rotation, so make sure that you enable copy attributes menu from preferences. And we can always play with the count and the factor, but the best way is to change the type to fit curve. Another thing is to get rid of the curve depth. And now it may be very hard to select it, but we just need to enable in front option to make that easier. For the animation we can pair all parts to the stage and then animate only the stage. I will change the frame rate to 30 and frame to 300 and the start at 0 so we can get 10 seconds of seamlessly moving animation. Continue with the shading, make sure that you have no render add-on enabled. We can create simple gold material only with a noise texture for the roughness and add some bump using the same setup just to get a bit more details.
this wing we can make it transparent add some roughness again we can always use Control shift and click on the core ramp or different nodes and textures to get better idea of how they actually look like we can mix it with different materials using the mix shader and we can add a few thin metallic lines on this one using the wave texture Here comes the fun part because I want to show you a way how to add the different colors and textures but still keep it non-destructive without applying the array modifier. With this we will need a white noise texture and a matte to change it to sail, change the coordinates to UV. Then make sure to change the array UVs to one from here. Now playing with the location, adding some colors. Tweaking these settings, you can get all these different variations very fast. We can make it even more spicy by adding some textures using mix shader and just copy paste the setup. I know that it might take some time, but the best part of this setup is that we can even apply the array modifier, so we can always come back and adjust the path to whatever we want. Ok, we're well, almost there, we can tweak the color profile from here and precise anything else we want. A good rule when doing animations is to check it before render the high res sequence. I'm always using the render before animation option first and I'm doing this in EV which will render the whole thing in a second instead of hours. Maybe add some depth of field, and that's what we have. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a thing or two from it, and I'll catch you on the next one.